It was a huge uh, bounce back game for, for, for us. I think uh, as a team, we, um, no, we probably didn't play with that work ethic, that pride, uh, you know, throughout the 60 minutes on Saturday. So it was important to, to have a good bounce back game and for full credit to the guys, um, I thought that was a, you know, yes, they pulled their goalie and they made it close, but I felt throughout the game, we were in complete control and, um, you know, we could have had a few more goals in the second. But I really like the way we played as a five-man group in the O zone, the neutral zone, the D zone. So fair play to the guys. I thought that was probably our best performance, uh, overall performance in a while. Well, we're not pleased with it. I mean, I think uh, you know we didn't match the intensity that uh, Dundee came out with uh, for the first two periods for sure. Even even the start of the third period, I thought that uh, they were a hungrier team. Uh, we thought we could uh, outskill them, I think. We were trying to make all these cute plays offensively, and they did a great job of defending. And, uh, um, you know, you can't just outskill teams. You have to put the work in, and I didn't think we put enough uh, work in tonight to be rewarded. Yeah, absolutely. I thought uh, we did a very good job of sticking with the game plan. We had a lot of chances. Um, credit to the goalie, played well, um, and, but we didn't get discouraged. We just kept st staying with it. Eventually, we got a couple by him, and yeah, got the job done. And happy with the way the team responded to going down a goal early. Yeah, absolutely. We talked about it. It's, it's tough. We came off a you know a pretty big win on Sunday. Um, you know, a lot of hockey here in a short amount of days, so it's um, a mental grind to get up for each game. And I thought. Uh, we did a good job, like I said, sticking with the game plan. Uh, they got up one in a power play goal, and we just stuck with it. Kept throwing pucks at the guy, and we we're lucky to get some rebounds. Now, you mentioned that coming off a big, a big game on Sunday, big win over Cardiff. Winning is a habit, and it's important to keep get us a roll, a streak going now, isn't it? Yeah, we talk about it all the time. You can't just turn it on for what you think is the bigger games. I mean, every game is pretty big here, and uh, we have a big weekend coming up. So uh, we were happy to get that win and keep things rolling heading into the weekend. Yeah. Obviously, you know, tough way to lose. Anytime you, you know, you're, you're get yourself back in a game. I thought we did did a lot of good stuff. Uh, love love James Downey's game. Uh, um, two power play goals. You know, we had some opportunities, some looks. Defended pretty well, and um, yeah, just you know, they they throw that one puck, and uh, I think it was Bellagio on that that got the high tip on it. And, yeah, frustrating, but I mean, we had some looks at the end, and it just wasn't meant to be. And I remember talking to you at the start of the season, and there's a lot of you know you weren't winning many games, but you've really turned it around this season. Yeah, I mean, it's so tight. I mean, you look at it now, three points separate five teams. Um, you know, so the the, the, uh, the the 20 game race now has, has turned into quite a playoff and it's exciting. It's, it's what makes, you know, the, our format so much different than others. We're not building for playoffs. So the playoffs is, we're, we're in playoffs right now. And, you know, for, for the teams that are fighting for position and in and out of playoff time. And so it's good, it's exciting. And, uh, you know, that's the message to our guys is that, you know, this is there is no easy nights in this game. And, you know, uh, you know, them to other leagues where there's three or four teams where you physically can't lose to them. We don't have that here. Yeah, I mean, we have four points against them this year. Uh, you know, we've had chances in the other two games to have gotten something as well. We got them in deep water both times, but. Uh, you know, tonight, uh, you know, I'd be lying if I would, didn't say I was a little concerned when they made it three to two, because we've had a habit of that, you know, playing great, sticking with our game plan. Then we get a little loosey goosey and uh, get a little too hungry for goals rather than, you know, letting them come to us. And, uh, but I'll tell you what, the, the guys really responded in the third period to build that three goal lead. And of course, we always make it interesting at the end and with a, with a giving, giving them a late power play and uh, two in the third period. But we bent, but we didn't break. And 
You know, I'm happy for the guys. Psychologically, we needed this. Uh, you know, the Belfast win was a long time ago. Uh, but to get one against Sheffield, you know, that's another top three team. To do it on home ice, uh, to have to battle it out to the end and be victorious is, uh, is a real big psychological thing for our group. Yeah. Um, obviously up and down hockey game. Um, I thought we probably created enough chances in that game to win it. Uh, two five minute stretches, one in the second, one in the third, where there was two goals, two quick goals by them in the second and three nothing. I loved our pushback though. I thought we really, um, we changed the tempo of that game to finish out the second period and, and close it down. And then again, we just came out a little light and a little soft in the third there. They took advantage and went up another two two goals there to make it, you know, five three there and or five two. We we, we get one back and just we, we tried and, and clawed back and just wasn't enough there. So a little disappointing with the result. Obviously, um, we've played some pretty good hockey. We've we've found a way to, to win a lot of games that maybe we didn't deserve. You know, I thought tonight was probably a game we could have won and, and didn't, and that's just the way it goes. Yeah, I thought that was a full 60 from our group. Um, you know, I thought it was actually a, a great response after the first period. You know, I thought we were very good in the first period, just didn't get rewarded for our efforts. Carried the majority of the possession, and then obviously to concede one, again, kind of against the grain of the game, it can be frustrating for the group, but I thought we came out well in the second period, and then obviously a bit of an explosion there in the third period for us was uh, nice to see. A lot of games coming thick and fast for you. You've got a, a few days rest before this one, and uh, and again, you certainly look like you're looking to go really down the stretch here and put performances in every single night. Yeah, well, I think that's what we spoke about. We just got to chip away here, and um, it's one game at a time mentality. You know, it was great effort tonight for a full 60. Uh, now we need to get some rest, get recovered, and get ready to do it all over again tomorrow. I think that that's the only way to approach this here moving forward. I mean, I think, you know, we certainly came in riding the high of uh, a pretty successful two weeks. Um, you know, we came with a game plan, and I, I thought that, um, you know, we had a pretty strong first period. We had a little bit of pressure, but after that long travel day, um, you expect that. We generally have to kill off a penalty early in this building, um, and we, we, we killed off two. Um, and as you said, we, we came in with the lead, uh, feeling good about ourselves. Intensity def definitely dropped in the second period. Um, obviously, uh, uh, the Giants, uh, you know, started putting us under a little bit more pressure. But we managed to get out of that period. You, you know, the, I guess the difference is, is a lackluster uh, on the half wall. We give a puck away, give away a shorthanded goal, and then a bad giveaway. We throw the puck into our own slot, slot for some reason. Um, you know, we end up 2-1 down, but we go in there still into a hockey game. Um, come out in third, um, totally unprepared. Two quick goals have to take a timeout, um, and then it's, you know that was a massive step backwards. And I think that probably the most frustrating thing for from my end is that you know I think the majority of the guys look like they gave up on the guy who keeps us in hockey games most nights.
I mean, the two points were imperative. Obviously, losing two in a row here and trying to stay pace. Uh, it was an important game for us. I like the way we started. We got the first goal, uh, which has been a bit of a struggle lately. So it was nice to come out of the gate and get that first goal. And um, you know, our power play was clicking tonight, which uh, you know kind of extended our lead there. So. You know, there was a lot to like in that game. It was physical, and uh, most most importantly, guys stuck up for each other. Yeah, I felt over the last couple games, we didn't get to the guts of the game enough, and uh, you know, driving the net, getting pucks to the net, and you know, once you start doing those things, that's when things open up. And I think you saw that tonight. Early on, we did get pucks in deep. We did go to the net. We got pucks there, and then play started to develop from there. Tough one, really. Uh, you know, we started well, and then um, you know, I think uh, Cardiff got a few power players there, and um, they capitalised on the power players that they got. And uh, you know, from there, we were kind of we were behind behind a little bit. And um, you know, at the end of the day, it is what it is. It's very frustrating because um, you know, there's certain things that change aspects of games and the game-changing moments and. We don't feel as though we got the, the rub of that tonight. Um, but, you know, like I said, I think I don't know what Cardiff ended up with. Was it four or five power play goals? It is the number one power play in the league. So, you know, you can't you can't give them those chances. Um, but no, um, after that, for us, um, the third period, we, just, we were just getting beat all over the ice. We looked heavy leg. We looked a tired team. Um, again, a lot, of, a lot of individual mistakes. And, um, yeah, it's just a... A poor night all round, really. Yeah, good hockey game. Um, up and down. I thought I thought that was arguably one of the better 60s we've played all year. Didn't find a way to win it, um, which is disappointing. But you know, at the end of the day, I think you know we can all look ourselves in the mirror and, and know we we played a heck of a game tonight and and missed a couple empty nets, hit a post, put a couple over the over the bar. Their goalie Mac played a heck of a game, um, especially early on. You know, I think we ended up with 50 shots to 22 or 23 tonight. So. From that side of the things, very happy and pleased with the effort, the energy, um, the way we dictated tempo and pace, and you know, just you know, they found a way there to, to get the extra point. Well, I thought, like you said, that that was a great hockey game. It was back and forth. I thought, you know, they controlled a lot of possession time, and you know, they're a shot volume team. So, you know, they put a lot of pucks on our net. I felt that uh, early on we weren't getting enough traffic into their blue paint and, and, and challenging their goaltender enough. I thought we were just trying to be a little bit too cute. It's been something we've been talking about for a while now. I thought the third period we started getting pucks in the net, but at the end of the day, it was a great hockey game. We were uh, fortunate to come back there, tie it up, and then. Uh, you know, a lot of drama in, in the overtime there with some power play opportunities. So again, uh, you know, two really good teams and uh, I think everybody left here with uh, knowing that was a great hockey game.
But a very good result. Really happy with the performance tonight. Um, I thought from start to finish, full 60-minute performance. Um, you know, we came off the back of the result in Cardiff last night and we weren't happy with a few things and um, we addressed those things tonight. And um, yeah, nice to see. I think everybody played very well tonight. Uh, I'm very humbled, <laughs> embarrassed, and I feel really bad for our goaltenders because they've, uh, they've been there for us day in and day out, and uh, we weren't there for them. Okay, so uh, next weekend you are away to five. What do you expect from that? Well, I mean, uh, we, we, we did win two this week, but we took a major step back tonight. So, you know, right now with, uh, you know, really seven teams fighting for five spots in the playoffs, you know, one bad game turns turns you back out again. So uh, finding ways to generate points in every game, uh, you know, keeping yourself with a chance to win hockey games, that's all important here down the stretch. And, uh, you know, this is one we weren't even close. Uh, you know, 3 nothing going in the third period to give up five uh, certainly wasn't what I, I, I asked of the guys. <laughs> certainly wasn't what I was expecting. And, I mean, what do you do? It's, uh, I, we, I'm not an excuse guy. I know we got here late, but we've had long trips to Cardiff. We've had long trips and got laid into Sheffield and competed right down to the wire. This is just one of those games today where we weren't in from the drop of the puck. And it's, uh, those are ones that are uh, nightmares for hockey coaches because you feel very helpless on the bench when you're looking for somebody to give you something and you're not finding it. Yeah, I'm disappointed. I think we're, you know, as a coaching staff, we're disappointed in the effort. I think, um, you know, the consistency is, you know, it's the thing that's been killing us all year long. I think, you know, until the group understands that uh, you know, we can't take shortcuts and we have to play, you know, for near 60 minutes as possible, um, we're not going to have a lot of success. And I think that's um, the lesson that we've probably learned. Well, I hope we've learned over the last few games is that, you know, we can't take shifts off. We need everyone. Um, and if you know if we don't, then then we're going to be on the outside looking in. Yeah, no, obviously, I mean that's ultimately the end goal is to get the result, and certainly on the road um, where we've we've actually been better than at home, I think, and uh, obviously that's a part of our game, but we gotta we gotta fix. But you know, I'm I'm happy for the guys again. Um, just uh, found a way, you know, always a tough trip up. I know, uh, you know, we made it clear to the guys before the game that obviously Fife had a, a tough trip back from Belfast as well. So, we, you know, we weren't going to use that as an excuse. But, you know, in saying that, you, you can only worry about yourself. And, and it is tough. But, uh, you know, we came out and I thought, I thought for the most part it was... It, bit of a non-event in the first period it you know looked like the refs were going to let us play and um and and just got to grind through those games and then obviously I, we found a little energy in the second there and then got a lead and you know they they got one back and you know to go up um get that second goal shortly after was big for us so obviously it, it gave us a little bit of confidence i thought we you know carried most of the play after that and and then yanni's goal to give us a little bit of insurance there you know so we lost another guy tonight there with that the big hit there on on forbesy and uh, we're down to 13 skaters so obviously a, a two goal cushion is nice to have and no need to give that second one up put a little stress on us and then obviously the three minors there in the third it just uh you know made it a lot more difficult than we needed to Yeah, obviously, uh, I thought we played 40 really good minutes. We came out a bit flat in the third. Um, and, and you know, they they, uh, they got that third goal to go ahead going. I didn't feel too, we, didn't, we weren't too troubled by that. I thought we, you know, we thought we'd kind of get our feet and then it just kind of snowballed. I mean, we, we turned over the puck in the blue line and then they got it 4-2. And, and the game quickly got away from us, which has kind of been the story of, uh, you know, the, the last little bit is teams seem to be scoring in bunches and then killing us, uh, you know, within four or five minutes. We're, we're in the game and we're completely out of it. So 
it's um it's frustrating. We got uh, you know we got a young kid in net there, Downey. You know, and, and he, he saw a lot of a lot of pucks this weekend. Uh, that's a positive. Is he's got a, a you know he got quite a few games under his belt now. He's 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 seen um, he's played some good minutes for us. Um, but we're just it's a frustrating much. We got some guys that are snake bitten. You know, we got guys that haven't seen the score sheet for for a while here, and it's it's just uh, just one of those times where confidence is, is pretty low and. And when that happens, it, you know, it's um, it can snowball, and yeah, unfortunately, you know, I think that was Dundee's first win in five years here, and you know, they they deserved it. They they came out in third period, and I thought they got the better of us early on, and uh, carried that momentum, and you know, they they got the score line. We just couldn't come back. Way too long, but uh, no, it's a great feeling. Really happy for the guys. It was a big game today, and um, no, really proud of them. That third period, you really came out with momentum, especially after Storm had gone into that second interval with a lot of momentum. You must have been very, very pleased with how you performed. Yeah, you know, throughout the game, I thought five on five, we did a good job. PK, too, it just they got a nice shot through a screen and then a, a broken play. But, uh, no, I thought, you know, we played well enough to be in a hockey game, and if we had our best period of the night, you know, maybe we get an opportunity to, to get the two points, and we did that. The power play clicked. Um, you know, we, we created a lot more opportunities in the first five, seven minutes. But, uh, no, it's a great feeling. Happy for the guys because uh, the last few games we've been showing a bit more consistency. It's something that we've been talking about a lot recently.